Okay, we're back for round two on the flipping the pop-up camper. Today is scrub day. That's why you need some grubby clothes on because uh, you're gonna get wet and dirty. So we've uh, been doing some research online and we've got the whole detergent thing figured out, a power washer and everything. What are we gonna use to clean this thing? Uh, so we're just gonna do a, a quick wash on the outside shell just with water and scrub it and then use a, like a non-detergent type uh, soap. Like Dawn works really well. Uh, we just use the, the Costco brand that we're gonna use on the outside shell. And then on the canvas, we're gonna use vinegar and water. One part vinegar, two parts water. Everybody says that scrubs it up pretty good. So what we're gonna do is basically a three level cleaning. Today we're going to get the heavy grime off. So we're gonna do a, a heavy dirt removal then we're going to do a little bit more of a refining type of clean then after the whole flip is done the whole you know we we change everything out and uh, we get it where we want we'll make a final detail clean of the inside and everything that way we pick up all the construction um, debris and things like that we work through so anyway we're going to get going on this it'll be fun here we go As you can see that just with no soap whatsoever just the power washer that really did a good job took off a lot of grime a lot of grease a lot of little moss as well so now we're gonna move to the step of we're just gonna give it a good scrub with just regular uh, soap this is premium liquid dish soap from Kirkland uh, good old Costco good old Costco um, everything that we read just said don't use anything with a detergent or Kind of fancy just something really simple like a dawn or an environmentally I think, friendly. I think what it is is the frame the uh the skin on this thing is mainly aluminum and um you know you don't want to set up an oxidation process or anything like that so don't want to use something that's just too harsh yeah so we're going to give it a good scrub and then power wash it again so now that he's applying the soap i can see that we're getting down another level of uh, cleanliness based on you know the last time we did with just just water so you know it's digging in pretty deep and we're pretty happy with the way it's turning out so the cleaning process uh, still continues we were able to take the pressure washer and wash off the heavy grime then uh, we went with a vinegar-based solution that uh, Eddie explained to you earlier, uh, just to recap. Uh, but we found that we still weren't getting on the vinyl on the top and things like that. We still weren't getting the penetration for the removal of dirt that, um, that we wanted. So uh, I had recalled that I had used this totally awesome cleaner from the Dollar Tree before. Uh, they also sell it at Dollar General. And uh, it's actually just a buck a bottle. So we brought that over here and we went to work on the, on the vinyl parts, the canvas top. And man, it just, it really did great. So we totally recommend this. It's, it's worked out really well for us. Take a look at the top of this camper and how well it looks. As you can see, the, the cleaning process went really well on the outside here. Uh, it's almost to perfection. We are going to um, have one more level of cleaning after we do the construction, but Eddie's inside working on that mold right now that was on the top. I'm gonna run in there and uh, I'm gonna let him explain what he's doing. We're testing out our Zep Mold Stain and Mildew Stain Remover. It's a pretty powerful bleach, so we're being really careful not to get on the sidewalls. 
uh, but you can already see where I've done some just spots where it removes really quite clearly. Um, nothing else was really touching this. We tried a couple of different uh, things and this is working pretty good, but we're trying to be really careful so that way we don't get kind of bleach stains on the sidewalls. Well, as you can see, we've got all this second level cleaning that done. Um, this ZEP product worked out really good. Look at how well that turned out. We are just so thrilled that all that mold is gone and we're ready to start moving on to the next phase. So, hey, we really appreciate you watching this video on how we did this cleaning and got this thing ready to start you know remodeling so this is really the beginning so hey make sure that you follow along with us as we uh, move on to the next step of painting and starting remodeling the end i think you'll really enjoy it till next time <laughs>